I wish I would have filmed this on flower before it started to fall apart. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a while. School started. I'm a high school teacher. I teach biology. No, I don't. I teach environmental science. I'm very tired. Um, I have all freshmen. I have about 180 freshmen that I teach. It's six periods of 30 students each. So, um, I'm going to be busy. I'm not going to post as much as I, as I used to. Sorry about that, guys. But let me give you a tour. It's August 17th, August 18th. It's Thursday. It's about to rain. So I'm going to give you a quick tour. Boogie likes to film with me, too. So I have two helpers out here in the garden today, Boogie and Nico. So let me give you guys a tour. Right here, I've got some Cherokee purple tomatoes. And I got my dog, Lauren. I have a wildflower bed. These are all just a mixture of wildflowers. I truly couldn't even name them all for you. Um, <laughs> there's a sunflower over there. Yep, we'll get there in a second. This is the pumpkin plants. Still have the big mama aloe in this main bed. All the rest of the aloe is over here in this purple bed, which is also a wildflower bed. This is my lemon tree, which is much better. Now, I know I said we were going to do a video talking about um, what was going wrong with the lemon tree, but by the time I got out here to figure out what was wrong with the lemon tree, she was fine. And now she has all the little baby lemons all over the tree. Ah. Are you stuck? No, we're trapped in here. You're trapped in here? No, so the lemon tree's doing good. We're keeping a careful eye on it, hoping that it, it pops out all those lemons. I've got some more Cherokee purple tomatoes over here that kind of got neglected, but I'm hanging on to them. <laughs> this is my sweet potatoes. And then, as mentioned earlier by the fabulous Nico, my sunflower. She's hanging out the other direction today. Chickens are still here. They're chilling in the background. Uh, so I haven't done much. Oh, I didn't even show. I always forget the mangoes. The mango trees are right here um, in the pots up against the fence. They look fantastic. They're growing like crazy. Um, the mango trees, they're in those pots right there. You see them, that big pot, and then the little ones next to it? Oh. Yeah, those are going to be mango trees when they grow up. Is that cool? And the roosters are going to grow up. The already grown up. That's why we're getting eggs already. Yeah, yeah they're grown up. That's why we're getting eggs already. They, they, well, they didn't hatch any because we were eating them. What? Why are you wearing, why Because he's a dog. That's what dogs do. Um, I haven't, I have not done much. I haven't had to water much because it's been raining, but I come out here and water when I need to. Um, I've just really been letting the plant to go. I keep I keep what? every I keep the weeds trimmed I keep them watered what? and I've been staying inside because like I said school year and it's hot so like I mean it's been it's been nasty hot um, in the mor even in the mornings like when I wake up first thing in the morning it's disgusting I don't I don't want to be out here I just kind of found a rhythm a few days ago coming out around 6:30 7 o'clock in the evenings it's been a lot nicer and been, there goes my Thomas cat. I've been walking around in the neighborhood and taking walks and getting outside and doing more in the garden. So I'm finally filming. Shout out to Mr. Welch. He helped me. He helped me get a little motivation to actually get out here and film. Oh, yeah. You want me to tell them about when you went to school with me? Yeah. No, Boogie's in the garden. That's okay. Boogie's always in the garden beds. Nico wants me to tell you that I took him and his brother with me to, on um, pre-planning day and they helped me clear out binders and they helped me get staples out of the wall and they helped me do all sorts of stuff for my classroom on our, on our flex day, which always makes a teacher happy. Tell them about TC limping. I'll tell them about TC limping. Um, our cat's limping. 
she's, she's not even limping. She's not just not putting weight on one paw and I, I hopping on three legs. We took her to the vet. Nothing's broken. Blood works fine. The vet honestly told us that she has no idea why Tisi's limping and we have to bring her back in a week. And it costs a lot of money. And she's probably going to have And she's faking. She's probably going to have to get a shot. And she's probably, yeah, she already got a shot. Oh. <laughs> um. I wonder if she's going to get another one. I don't know. I don't know what my future plans are for the garden right now. It's finally starting to cool down, so I got to do something. I have a whole empty bed, which is very unlike me. There's nothing there. Um, and I have like a big space here too. I wanted to have pumpkins in time for October. That's been my goal three years in a row now since I started gardening. Oh, chest piece. Um, all right, future plans. I want pumpkins for October. That's been the goal ever since I had my little garden on a patio that didn't get enough sunlight to grow a pumpkin. Um, and now it looks like, well, I don't really know. I mean, let me show you my pumpkins. These are my pumpkin plants. It's, I mean, they're all like pushed together. I don't see any flowers on them. Talk me through this one, guys. What am I doing wrong here? So, I'm gonna do something soon. I wanna get out here and start doing something. I need, I need my garden therapy back in life, guys. But um, I'm not really sure what to plant. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna mull over that. Hopefully this, this coming week or two, I'll get some more plants out here and I'll start doing more videos. It just, I haven't even had to do much with summer. It's been. Hennessy's the only one that grows. Why? Because he's the only boy. Wait, are you talking about the tall rooster? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's the only one that grows? Yeah, he's the only one that grows. Um, if you have any suggestions, <laughs> put them down below. I will try to be back on here sooner, but now that it's the school year, I make zero promises. But it's been nice chatting with you guys. I hope you are doing well. Um, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.